All right, what's going on, everybody? And welcome to the Occult Gaming Channel with me, your host, Bell. All right, welcome back to the month of FromSoft with uh, Lost Kingdoms 2. We're going to go ahead and continue our adventure, continue our adventure, and get things rolling. So, again, I, I uh, want to apologize to you guys about the weird energy these playthroughs have uh, had for the last couple of last couple of rounds but uh, I am having a lot of fun but I am aware that the energy has uh, changed a little bit from the uh, first couple of episodes like the first maybe uh, six or seven episodes Oh, they won't even tell me what's uh, going on here. I kind of like this Earth deck, though. I think I'm okay with just using this for a little bit. Because I think my Earth attribute is pretty... It's not that low. But fire and uh, grass are much, much higher. Which I'm okay with. The machine's getting up there, too, so... I like this deck. I might just go back with the first deck, though. I think the first deck still has all the platform cards, too. Let's check it out. Yeah, it looks like it. I think the only one I'll take out is Elephant King. I don't really care for Elephant King. Maybe we'll level some new stuff up. This wasn't that good of a card, either. Lamasu is kind of awesome. Elf is kind of iffy. I'll keep him in there for a bit longer though. This thing, I don't really like Witchlet. Gotta be honest with you guys, I don't really like Witchlet. Use the ship. Mm, the sheep was kind of iffy. Did I take out all the machines before? I think this thing's cool, right? Haven't used it yet. Giga Pain, Giga Pain Claws, Energy Cannon. Have I used this? I don't know. I think this is the thing that just kind of sits there. I'm okay taking that out. But I do want another machine to replace it. And that thing sucks. Bomberbot. I kind of want to use Uber Bomberbot, but <clears throat> I'll use the Acid Dragon. Or, right, I can't use Neutral Monsters yet. So I'm raising my machine stat. I like that. Mecha Pulse kind of awesome, but situationally so. This thing, I think I'm gonna throw that in there. Just no, I'm not gonna do that. I will use this though, Camellius. And we'll just Devil Plant wasn't that good, but I think I'm just gonna use it. And okay, I think I'm actually feeling this. Uh, Actually, fill this uh, group of cards. Uh, Undead Knight, I might take him out. Because he's kinda not very good. Um, actually, you know what? I'll do more. I'll do at least one Golden Pokey Pit, because he's really good. And I guess that's gonna do it for us momentarily. the right deck yes all right let's go ahead and jump into it the grown the grinfold church actually don't know how you pronounce that i don't know if it's grinfold or grinfail not sure oh this looks a lot better than it used to Oh man, my, uh, hold on a sec. Alright, sorry about that. My computer's going kind of crazy. Looks like my settings for the Elgato, or my settings for the uh, Blue Yeti mic are not really taking because it's picking up all the background noise so i don't know what's up with that 
Hopefully it's not too horrible for you guys. My pardon, but are you, but are you Lady uh, Adrianu? The Queen asked me to give you this. While it is in your possession, you will be able to open doors bearing the water, the royal seal of Alondra. Okay, so we'll be able to backtrack to the uh, plans of Roel. It's like the same stage, but a little bit different. Uh-oh. I don't know if I wanted to do that. This is... I don't know what that is. In the first game, um, this stage had two rows of hues. The war isn't over. We'll regroup and strike back, and then they'll be sorry. Can't move this one. Lady Adrianu, thank goodness you're safe. Thank you for coming. The Queen will be very happy to see you, I'm sure. Alright, just kind of checking everything here. I would appreciate it if you kept this information confidential, but I believe the creature the Kendari are using is the God of Harmony. No, the God of Harmony is Gerd. Our library contains some material on this topic that might be of interest to you. Alright, we might get another war dump here, just like the first game. I'm guessing there won't actually be any combat here. Oh, what is to become of us? kind of look like the queen. Did you know that? Not really. Excuse me, Lady Terra, but is it true that you are the queen's sister? Oh, now everybody knows about it. Maybe maybe the queen has uh, said something about it. Maybe there's that rumor going around. Okay. Maybe you move these in a certain order and I'm I may have messed that order up. Not too sure. Alright, so talk to all these guys. Hold on. Can I talk to this guy? I don't think so. Do you think they will spare our lives if we surrender? Okay, so this area is very much so similar to the last uh, Grenfell Church. Like there's the organ, this treasure chest over here, there's, it's a little bit smaller though, I think that this area was a little bit bigger in the first game. Welcome to the Cathedral of Grimfold. This place of worship is dedicated to the God of Harmony. I know a secret, I promise not to tell anyone, but here's a hint. Check out the four statues, that's all I'll say. Well, I checked out. Check them all out, but I couldn't move the last one. 500. Gravity pillar, that's interesting. Can't use this organ. Uh, so what, what should I have done with this uh, last statue over here? I can't really do anything with cards. There was like legitimately nothing I could do with this. Talked to you already, didn't I? Yeah, not sure. I probably was supposed to move this one first. You know what? 
I'll try that out. There's really no reason not to do that. Yep. Gotta move this one first. Okay. towards the painting about this one maybe it depends on where I push the button from if I push it from the front it's gonna face the painting I think mm, not quite sure what to do with this one I'm gonna see if I can like do something a little bit different. Maybe maybe it is like depending on which order you move them in. Um let's see. So I think I pushed it from this side last time, right? So what happens if we push it from this side? Or is this how I did it? I actually don't remember. Uh, there's three sides I can push this one from. So this one I did from the front. Let's do this one now from the side. No difference. Oh, this one just always faces this way. I'm not sure if this uh, these actually do anything. Oh, are they all aimed at this guy over here? Oh, I think so. I think that's what it is. Okay. God. I'm supposed to probably... No? Yeah, they all seem to be aimed at this particular window here. Try it one more time. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens if I do this one first. Still the same thing. Kind of still the same. Or something else you would do with uh, statues again. I don't think so. Alright, 
Well, fair enough. I thought he was the one who gave me that hint last time. Guess not. Was it you who gave me the hint? Yeah, I don't know what actually ends this level. Very confused. So if Sol is the son of Count Bodwin of Dalnak, he has known the Queen since they were both children. About three years ago, he left Alanja. He said something about finding uh, Lady Adrianu. It was all very mysterious. He just vanished, not a word, not a message, in three years. But it seems he managed to find you after all. Yeah, he pretty much paid the price for it. Let's get this. Did something bad happen to Alanja? I want to go back home, back to Alanja. Uh, that great monster, uh, that great monster the Kendari brought with them wasn't just killing our soldiers; it was killing theirs too. Those fools! They're gonna bring doom upon us all. Their gear is very reminiscent of, uh, I think, some stuff I've seen in Dark Souls. Not really. No, this is pretty much different. Uh, we were supposed to have the greatest army in history, but we didn't stand a chance. Curse those Kendari fiends. I just pray that my wife and children are safe wherever they are. Okay, They're, everybody's kind of taking refuge in this uh, area here. This was the guy okay, who told us the story. Alright, moving on. Oh, is that supposed to be the Goddess of Harmony? Yeah, she's in the center of both uh, worlds. It's pretty cool. I wonder, actually, you know what? Let me see if I can get like a good image where my hood isn't messing up the picture. I guess here is as good as it's gonna get. Yeah, looks neat. See if I can get like a screenshot of that. If you are looking for the queen, you will find her in the library. I believe she is looking for a way to rid Alanja of the Kendari beast. Which side is she on? Because I want to go the other way. Oh. Shoot. Didn't want to go the right way. I think this is a new loading screen too. Oh, okay, we got a little uh, card merchant. Awesome. This was uh not expected. And I definitely do got some stuff to make. Starting with this guy. Alright, we can finally make the uh demon skeleton. That right there is neat. And I'm sure Demon Skeleton is going to put us like one um, like one step away from getting a Steel Skeleton. So I'm going to put Demon Skeleton in the deck like right away. Let's see if I can duplicate the uh, Fire Skeleton. Nope. Or the Undead Knight. Nope. That's fine though. Oh biggie. Upgrade these. Tumble chick. I gotta do some grind off camera for you guys. I think I will do some of that tonight. So I gotta actually pack up um my system for a little bit. Pack up my whole like little station here for a little bit. What else we got for you? We got all of them for you. Green dragon, brian dragon, red dragon, cool. We'll read these soon. 
Um, cause we're gonna make we're gonna make these soon too. So I'm gonna hold off on reading those now. Oh, Venus Spider has upgrade. Oh, I, I always forget that. No oh, bird man. Oh, Garuda. This also a transform type. I think this is the move to make. Would transform. Uh, seven stars. Pretty good. Um, definitely survivable. I don't know if it's a text that is better than Birdman's. No, nah, they're exactly the same. Twenty-four, twenty-eight. But he, whoops, he does last longer though. He's actually a little bit weaker than Birdman. A transformed creature capable of flight, more powerful than a Birdman, is skilled in aerial combat. Okay. A bird man capable of flight uses this long lance and the magical power of wood to defeat his enemies. Just about identical. Just lacking a furious sky attack. So yeah, this is gonna be a move we're gonna make. Can't use it yet though. Yep, just the palace swap. Yeah, my laptop is screaming at me tonight. Do not know what happened and why the uh, sound settings are off. But it is what it is. Technology is not my forte, if you guys hadn't picked up on that. So this was a, uh, did we ever get it? We got several deaths. I forget if we got like a Thanatos or not. I gotta put Water Reaper back in the deck too so we can get the new versions of it. Carbuncle, can we can really actually start making these other things. I was just kind of lazy <laughs> in not reading the um, upgrade stuffs. Um, but let's actually do that now. I do like to make let I do like to let these episodes kind of move at a fair pace, but the car stuff I feel like is very important. Like figuring out the car stuff. I think I've done that before. All right, uh, Carbunk was very expensive. They realized just how good it was. So we're gonna make a trickster. It's wood independent. Uh, stone requirement of eight. I think that's more than it used to be in the first game. Um, pretty low survivability, I would say, or or middle of the road survivability. Tricky dance is its attack. An independent creature that emits a mysterious sound wave that will produce one of six conditions: curse, poison, paralysis, charm, death, or petrification. The trickster is a magical creature that flips into a handstand pose before attacking. It uses strange sound waves to cause paralysis and other damage conditions. Trick Dance, which is a little bit better. It's actually much better as a monster than it is as a uh, independent for us. We're gonna make it. Um, I think altogether that's gonna be 31,000. So we're gonna have just enough. And I think I have three carbuncles in my earth deck, so I'm gonna have to replace that with something. I'm gonna get a chance. And that, I think that's a slightly better design on it. Uh, model design. Then we got the Napalm Beast here, a fire helper with fiery charge. I'm wondering if this is just a fire version of carbuncle here. Kinda looks like it. Um, fire helper, storm crime of seven, HP 43, defense seven, lifespan 43. Carbuncle. Ever so slightly better than the carbuncle in just about every respect, seems like. Um, a helper creature eternally reef in flames. It circles around the player, damaging enemies who get too close. A magical beast a magical beast reefs in flames does not appear as an enemy monster. Alright, cool. I can just replace the carbuncle in that earth deck with this uh fire beast.
Alright, good stuff. Flying Ray. We haven't used the Flying Ray enough. We can just start using that card. This I've seen everything for, I believe. Yes. What bush? Yes. This I know I have. Okay, I think we have seen just about everything. Except for this, I haven't even read this yet. But we'll wait for that. I think I've seen what this turns into, yeah. Alright, cool. <clears throat> that didn't take. Well, now we have to actually see if there's stuff we can buy. Two of those already. And I could have just bought a Napalm Beast from here. Fair enough. Sprite. Cold Butterfly. Running Bird. We don't have a Lycanthrope. I can for sure use one of those. And let's read it. A wood weapon uh, with Claw Swipe. This is actually much better than it used to be. This thing used to be a summon in the first game, but making it a weapon only makes all the sense in the world. A weapon type creature that swipes at nearby enemies with its razor sharp claws. Its concealed power makes up uh, for the fact that it can only be used twice. Half human, half beast, the lycanthrope uses its quickness to confuse opponents. A swipe from the razor sharp claws of a lycanthrope can send one flying. And we eventually do fight these guys. They're actually kind of cool uh, as enemies. I actually like their uh, the way they move and their move set. It's pretty dope. They're kind of like fighting game characters. And they're definitely better as monsters than they are. Well, it's stronger as a weapon, but has much more variety as an enemy. And I do like the fact that they mention its uses on the description, because before uses was a statistic. But now it is no longer something that they list. So glad for that little nod right there. Probably just get two of these. Or shit, I didn't mean to get three. I just wanted two. Um, I'll get one more of these. Uh, probably one more of these. That's kind of expensive though. Probably one more of these just to have it. And running bird makes everybody faster, right? I actually don't know if I read this card, even though I have one. Uh, Earth Helper, three stars, uh, five stone with the speed boost ability. Decent lifespan, uh, no HP and no defense virtually. Well, uh, virtually no HP and completely no defense. While on the battlefield, this while while on the battlefield, this creature will increase the speed of all allies. It does not attack anyone; it simply runs around. This giant ostrich races to and fro on its magically enhanced legs. The presence of a running bird will give all friendly monsters a speed boost. The running bird will not actually attack anyone. Okay, here's one more. Fine. Uh, one more of these two. Just have it. Okay, we're good. This is a nice little detour. Took about 10 minutes or so. Okay, so my sound settings are like half working now. I guess it was just too loud. Alright, so this over here is going to uh, probably proc a different sort of cutscene. I wish I could figure out what those statues did. I'm sure I didn't do that correctly. Oh, but they're going to let me read some lore. Audrey Anu, what are you doing here? What do you mean you want your runestone back? Mother never should have given it to you in the first place. Have you come to gloat? Because I couldn't defeat the Kendari? Oh, I... I'm sorry. After Mother died, they made me queen. I was just a little girl. But without a runestone, I was a queen without power. I was always terrified that the people would discover that the runestone was lost. I hated you for leaving. Hated you because Mother gave you the runestone. I didn't think about what you were going through. I only thought about myself. Oh, what am I to do? <laughs> Help us! You're our only hope! Hmm. 
And all right, this story is a little bit schizophrenic. Um, or maybe it's just Rashianu there. Uh, the voice acting, not very good, just be honest. But um, I, I like kind of where where they're going with the story. I just don't like the presentation of a lot of these scenes. Uh, before I do that, oh, it looks like in this one you can actually skip out of the um, skip out of it. Isn't it incredible? There are there are more books here than anywhere else in the whole world. That seems fake. <laughs> that seems like I guess I guess I should say that seems like fake news, but it doesn't seem quite right. Uh, recently, reports have been received describing fighting in the Characia area, located to the south of White uh, Characia is home to an ancient temple said to be inhabited by a being known as Ashra. Recently reports have um, same thing. Yeah, same thing. Just to make sure. Okay. Very good. Now that Alanja has fallen, White will not hold out for long. Correct. Uh, those of us that survived the attack followed the queen to this church. Do you think we'll be safe here? For now. Oh, can I not read these books? Okay. Can't read these books either. Can't read these books though. Okay, that's the scroll one. Both of these are scroll one. This will be scroll one as well. Okay. Let me see what books are here first before I start reading them. Scroll three. Two, of course. Yep, this is probably scroll two as well. Scroll four. This behind the queen. That's probably gonna end the level. Oh, that's the statue. The statue thing. Show yourself to all of the statues, and that which is hidden shall be revealed. Let me show myself. Here. I don't know if talking to him is going to end it. I'm just going to read the Lord before I start talking to the queen or that guy. Give me one second. Alright, we got the Arguillian Myths, scroll one. In the time before time, the world was created by the gods of destruction, creation, and harmony. The gods gave life to the world, and it grew green and prospered. Simple enough. Forgot that's the same thing. Uh, Arguillian myth scroll two. But woe, anger erupted between the gods of creation and destruction. War followed. Long and bitter was their war. In the end, they imprisoned each other with magic and were seen no more. Art William Myth Scroll 3 Fearing a recurrence of the bloody struggle, the God of Harmony sealed her siblings into room stones. The last God then split the land in twain and scattered the room stones over the two continents. Alright, makes sense. So these actually feel a lot shorter than the ones in the first game. It's like the same story, but I feel like it's a bridge for this one. Like William Myth Scroll 4. As a final guard against the renewed war, the God of Harmony shed its body to become a wall of pure light separating the continents. So this is actually what they mean when they say that the continents are uh, divided into dimensions. Because they, they were already split because of the God of Harmony, but she also uh, put up a wall of light to uh, keep as a boundary, as a uh, barrier, pretty much, between the two. Uh, the empty husk of the god slumbers on, deep in the soil of Kendaria, to awaken when needed again. So maybe Gerd isn't the, uh, the god of harmony. Okay, show yourself to all of the statues, and that which is hidden shall be revealed. Um, okay. Uh, the first queen, Kasha, harnessed the power of the reawakened god of creation to defeat the evil enchanter Thanos. 
she went on to conquer the God of Destruction, thus saving Argyle from utter annihilation. The God of Destruction, which uh, had served Thanatos, uh, sorry, which had served Thanos, was made to serve the royal family from that time on. Yeah, I guess because she collected them as a card. To this day, the God of Destruction card is thought of as the deadliest weapon in the Queen's arsenal. So she has that entire deck. Um, I wonder, does she have all 105 original cards from the first game? Ah, there's something I wanted to tell you. You know of the force field the Kandari have installed around the entrance to the Royal Tower? I believe it would be possible to disable the barrier by using the God of Destruction card. I figured. I think I even said that earlier, didn't I, guys? That that's kind of uh, lined up for the God of Destruction. I believe you can do it. Um, through other means as well, but uh, I just wasn't patient enough to try everything that I could have tried. That card should still be in the Royal Storehouse on the plans of Royal. I think you should get that card, Adrianu. It might be our only hope. Okay. Okay, so this is just the, uh, like a stage, like a, um, like a village type stage. But there's apparently something more to this. So show yourself to these statues. Okay. So these point specifically to certain areas. So if I show myself, maybe I have to... Maybe I have to like go where this is pointing. Show yourself to these statues. Still don't know what that means. Is there something in their hands? It looks like a card's in their hands. Um, does show yourself mean display like a card? I don't know. Show yourself to all of the statues, and that which is hidden shall be revealed. All of the statues. Show yourself. Is there any more statues? I think he only said. I think he said there's only four statues. So I don't think there's any more statues. Show yourself. Show yourself. Show yourself. Show yourself. Everything's pointing in this general direction. That, everything's pointing like over here. Oh. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, if you have a Tiger Mage card and a Panther Mage card, you can do a neat trick. Cool, I wonder what that's called. Echno magic? Econo magic? Cool. If you read a story about a really, uh, really deep cave, or sorry, I read a story about a really, really deep cave. And you know what? That cave was full of all kinds of strange monsters. Monsters you can't see anywhere else. Was that? I'm not sure what, which cave that they're mentioning. Plague rat. Well, I might start using that. I think I'm gonna do a poison deck. And a vampire. Dope. 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 All right, we got some new stuff.
Well, all's the way it ends well. That was a pretty fun time for me. Alright, and we get the Temple of Sharacia. But well, we're actually, we have some time. We're actually going to go backwards. Since we have the uh, Crest of the Royals. I do want to kind of edit the deck a little bit. Uh, I'm going to take out one of these. And put in the new new version. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I'll just go to fire. <laughs> Stuff is so hard to find. Right, and uh, we got like two new cards that I have to like read. Red life and throat. I kind of want to put him in the deck. Let's see if there's anything else we can take out. So what were those two new cards? Vampire is one of them. You know, I, I guess these are doing so fine. I do like these Will-O-Wisps. I might take it out, I don't know. There, there's vampire. There's something else too. Uh, neutral summons. Uh, we have six stars. Nine star requirement. Um, the attack's called vampire bats, and also the death spell. A summons creature with a special ability. With each attack, a vampire has a chance of killing every creature present, friend or foe. However, some creatures do have immunity to one-stroke kills. Vampires. Evil incarnate, the children of the night. Vampires dispense swarms of vampire bats to drain the life out of their foes. The bats can also cause poison, paralysis, and curse conditions. Very tanky, um, high defense. Well, middling defense, but it's pretty good. Vampire was a boss in the first one, but he also became like the um, like an in-game regular enemy. So vampire is always pretty solid. I think I do want to put the demon skeleton in there as well. Or maybe I can wait. Maybe I can do like a water all deck. I think I will do that actually. I read that. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we are good. I will take this out. I didn't even get to use it really, but it's whatever. <laughs> Not that pressed about it. I will use the uh, demon skeleton if I can find it. Yeah, I can't find it. There it is. Hmm? I still got more than I got too many cards. Uh, what did I not? Trying to try some new stuff. I guess we can take out Golden Porky Pig. This thing's good. I'll keep it. This thing's good. Uh, I'm not sure I like the Gemini though. I think I will take out the Gemini and put the Porky Pig back in there. Uh, eh, we'll keep it. It's fine. Okay. Um, we're going back to... The plans of Roel. I suppose we'll end the level. Might do some grinding, I don't know. Because we got uh, about 15 minutes left. So if this, if this doesn't take too long, then we'll do a couple of things. Let's try out some of this new stuff. This time there's no um, 
Oh, there's that asshole. Okay, there's the golems. I shouldn't even mess with this asshole. Great. Oh, this thing is a slow burn. This, uh... This lightning throw is a slow burn. Swat. As long as he doesn't hop backwards. Yeah. I'm done good with that one. Don't need this. We'll use this. Ooh, let's get some more zap attack. Hopefully he doesn't hop out the way. I heard him good. Yeah, I knew it. Knew that I was gonna do it. On over. Oh, there's another thing back. Mm, let's try this out. We'll use a cranial charge. Pretty good about things. That went pretty well. You hold up the jewel of Alondra, the door silently swings open. Cool. Oh god. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that for some reason. Oh, closed in space? Closed in space? You don't say. I'm a oh god, this is horrible. Come on. Oh, this actually doesn't do much damage. Okay, we'll do these two. Hope for the best. Oof. I ran right into it. This should be fine. Yeah, good stuff. Come on, lure him over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what? You guys can come finish this guy off, too. I'm all for it. Oh, this guy's gone. Okay. Good job, guys. Good job. There's our God of Destruction card. Okay, I think that was a thousand room stone. A thousand magic stone. Yep, and this bad boy here, look, that's the um, the runestone sigil up there. Got a destruction card. So we can get a good view of it. Looks good. Looks better than the first game. You have acquired the God of Destruction card. Awesome. Uh, we probably could have defeated more enemies. Um, what's, what else is there here? Great, I got the, uh, I don't know what that is, Manticore. Fire summons, five star level. It's not a requirement of seven. It does a lot of damage, heavy impact. Or poison dart. A summon type creature with a powerful attack. It fires a stream of poison needles from its tail. The needles have a very good chance of poisoning opponents. A great and rare beast of magical origins that inhabits the plains of Roel. When not shooting poison tip needles at foes, it uses its powerful body to ram into them. Definitely very tanky. Very tanky. Alright, pretty good, um pretty good haul we got today. So I got ten minutes left. Um in the last ten minutes what we're gonna do is we're gonna build the deck. Um I'm gonna start off by reading the description of 
our good friend, the guy of destruction, who should be towards the bottom. He's gonna be um, he's gonna be one of these types, the neutral type. Make this a lot easier for myself. There he is, car look really awesome. Actually, I changed my mind. I think he looks better in the first game. I'll see if I can get like a um, pick a pick of that to show you guys. Um, maybe, uh, maybe uh, kind of hyperimpose it over uh, my talking right now. That's if I'm not too slack on the uh, editing, not too lax on the editing. But pretty good design here, but I think I do like the first version in the first game better. But uh, this thing is looks like uh, eight stars. Yeah, eight star level. Probably the highest level I'm thinking. Um, storm requirement of 12, which um, I think that's actually lower than it used to be in the first game. So I'm, he's probably gonna be nerfed compared to the first game. Um, his abilities are Final Judgment and Cataclysm. In the first game, he just had the one thing where he um, where he uh, took both your HP and the opponent's HP down to one. Um, so that's probably gonna be, I'm thinking Final Judgment. And Cataclysm is probably gonna be the one where he does the four elemental um, things and then blows it up. So we'll see. Uh, brings every fire, water, earth, and wood creature to near death. When facing a runestone master, the turn to stone weapon Cataclysm will prevent fossilized cards from going back into your opponent's hand. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Hmm. So does it also cost stone status? And then those cards can't go back into the hand, they're just gone for good. But I wonder, can they be restored by card restoration cards? Uh, it looks like he's not an enemy in this game, which makes sense. He was the final boss in the last one. The ancient god that protects the royal family of Alanja does not appear as an enemy monster. So that's what he's known as now, just the protector of... Uh, he basically became the um, dark magician of the Alanja family. That's kind of hilarious. Okay, so a couple things I wanted to do. I want to actually make a poison deck, and I might start actually using that. And I want to actually make a water deck so that I can kind of use more water uh, monsters. Sure. Let's go ahead and do that. And I do want to also alter this fire deck. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is make the water deck. The water deck is going to be nice because there's a lot of good water cards, especially when it comes to the healers. I think most of the great healers are water healers. water deck um, we're gonna take some other elements in there but it's mainly gonna be water so I think one of those fine or two whatever one of those one of those uh, probably maybe two of these um, one, of, one of these one of these I don't need these again vampire bush kind of don't like vampire bush All other creatures. This could come in handy, but I think it affects you as well. Yeah, every creature on the battlefield. I, I actually don't like that at all, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Uh, sea Monk. Which one is? He's the one of five. So I got enough Sea Monk in the other deck. Hydra, I'm probably gonna reserve him for the poison deck. Siren, why not? Undine, why not? One of my play is good because he's um five to ten cards. Step fourteen stone, fair enough. So doing both of these just uh, adds one more to that, to this. Spray. Mm, yes. I'm gonna use cards. Uh, this is fair. Healing is great. Two of these. Um, this guy gets destroyed by Earth. I think he's the only one that gets Earth insta-killed. Got 
nine more for sure that that's cool uh rock hagen we don't really need um try to use this thing have a flyer in there beaker i don't think beaker can actually um transform so i feel like there's no need to use beaker as if for the water um i kind of struggled to put everything in here too so we could do Sea Monk to do the two card restoration. Land Shark's okay, but I think I'm gonna skip Land Shark because he can't even get like new shit. So what am I missing with this deck? Uh, this deck will get uh, wrecked by Earth types. Maybe I can do some more stuff with that. Uh... Maybe I could throw some stuff in there, like surprise them, like some of that. It has like earth restoration. I mean, it has health restoration already. So I don't know. You know what? Banshees. That's what it needs. Every deck needs more banshees. Okay. I don't think anything else really complements it, though. Exposed. And that's neutral. I'm trying to avoid neutrals. Mm, not, I think that's fair enough. I think we got some really good stuff in there. We don't really have like um decoy cards, but for that deck, I don't really think we need them. Yeah, I'm good with that. Alright, um, we'll do next a wood deck. Mm, I don't know any funny things to do with uh, wood. Uh, oh. <laughs> Got one funny thing. I don't think it'll fit though. Yeah, it won't fit. That's fine. I think you guys get the joke. Right. Uh, for sure one of these, maybe even two. For sure like two of these. Crazy not to put two of those in the deck. Um, two of these for sure. Tree ants, try this out. What this thing do? Wood power up. Double power wood. Fine, fine. Uh, I don't want more birdmen in the deck. Archer Tree, I kind of dug Archer Tree, but it was still kind of, kind of weak. We'll try it out again. One of these, one of these, fine. It slows, is this slow the enemy down or all of us? Looks like enemy. What does this do? Negate damage conditions, mm, why not? At least, Rebus is good, we'll try this out. Try Cattle Poker, we'll see if we can level this up more that's fine that's fine uh, this thing's fine a little bit more refleshia it's fine what's this do has the offensive power of all earth and wood creatures it's kind of this will feel like feel like this will work against this but whatever Cool, cool, we managed to get everything in there. And what can we double down on? Another one of these, of course, that, <laughs> of course that. All right. I think if I was to change it, I would just take out one of these and of course take out that. And then I have space for like two more things. As is, this is, this is fine. That's fine. Okay, last but not least, it's gonna be poison. Okay, um, ha. What the name it? Shout out to what might be my favorite Pokemon this guy. Was very versatile in the games. There we go. Uh, this will be the poison deck. Uh, most poison cards are, I think, wood. 
but it's kind of a mixed bag. I know there are some water poison types as well. Um, I'm gonna try to do it by memory. This probably causes poison, but it is neutral. Let's just do Pentos. Um, I'm, doesn't New Way cause poison? Oh, lightning. This thing for sure, no? No. I think I'll put that in there just for the hell of it. This thing here. Paralysis. Paralysis is fun too. This is sleep. I might just do like a status effect deck. We'll make it for the hell of it. Gravity pillar. I didn't read gravity pillar. Neutral helper has gravity pool. Um, 70, looks like decent survivability, 7 star requirement, 7 stars as well. Uh, a stone pillar with his own gravity. Any enemies that get too close will be sucked by the, sucked in by the pillar's gravity. A stone pillar with his own gravity. Anyone that gets too close will be sucked in, unable to break away. Be mindful of where it is on the battlefield. And pretty identical as an enemy. Giants. Okay. This poison. Our chip points. Uh, it looks like a poison creature, so I'll put it in there. This deck's kind of, kind of gonna be a reaching deck. Kind of gonna be reaching with that one. This heals. Put that in there. This thing was, this thing was okay. We'll do two of these. Do do? Poison. Great. Take two. What does this do again? Uh, I kind of like this thing. I think I'm gonna slot one in there. Oh yeah, poison. Might as well put two of these in there. Just have some helpers. Grim Harvest. Mm, just one, it's fine. I think these cause poison. Yeah, we're gonna put a bunch of these in there. Might as well put two of those in there, just cause. I kind of want to put one of these in the deck again, but these are kind of hit or miss. Oh, I forgot to put him in the deck. As a matter of fact, I will use this deck next time we uh, start off. And this poisons. Great. This poisons as well. Mm, I'm gonna want card restoration. Two of those in there. Oh yeah, we got gotta get the horse too. Two of the horses? I think two of the horses is probably too much. This thing doesn't poison, does it? Cause petrification. You know what? Where's the um other? I think this poisons. Uh, Tiger Mage is always a good choice though. This thing, uh, for damage. What's this do? I kind of want to get this too. Here's the stone. Yeah, I'm gonna put that in there. Um, this might poison. No. This causes like a bunch of weird status effects. I kind of want to put that in there. Charm. Oh, you know what? The poison sword. I think two of these. Where's the poison sword? I think I passed it. Where's the poison sword? 
There it is. Okay, so I really gotta figure some stuff out. Um, I'm gonna take out stuff that doesn't really do poison. So I guess... One of these is fine. If that, I might have to take him out. This thing... This thing I'm gonna take out. I might have to take the robot out. Take, I kind of like the healing, but I might have to take it out. Um, one of these is fine. They aren't that good. I'm gonna take out Bumhagen. Mm, rubber Froggy is fine. I got you on the water deck. Boom Monkey also. Probably fine that I'll take you out. Hold on. There's a... I'll confirm that, but I think there's more stuff I wanted to do. Oh, what else? Kill mech monsters. Oh, zombie dragon, of course. Zombie dragon. I think this also causes poison, yeah. Alright. Uh, and I think I want one of these in there just cause. So again, I'm gonna have to figure out what to take out. I don't necessarily need two of these, but I'd like the idea of having two. So I'll take this out, it's no problem. Might take that out. No, so I'll take this out too. Or you know what? Flesh, yeah, I'll take one of these out. And anything else? Guess we'll take the other this out. It's fine. Okay, I think I think I'm great with this. I think I'm all good with this. I kind of want to put King Mandragora in there just cause, just cause he he just rounds out any deck. I'm gonna take one of these out for King Mandragora, at least one of them. I don't have any card restoration anything in here, unfortunately. Um, I think I have like I don't even have a healer like Rebus. Yeah, it's not the best deck. Um, oh, I got two of these. I'll take one out. You know what? To make this a more a deck that makes more sense, I'll just take that stuff out. So I do want card restoration. I do want a little bit of healing as well. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do a healing. I'm going to, I did Rebus, and I'm going to do a Mind Flare. Again, if I can find him. There he is. Alright, Rebus and Mind Flare, and then we can uh, probably just do another. Eh, we just do that. So I kind of like um, Water Reaper. Unless I can think of something better, which I don't think I really can. Maybe Demon Skeleton, because I think his sword may poison. Nah. Kinda do want to put one of these in there though. Yeah, I'm gonna take one of these out. That one's enough. Actually, matter of fact, one of these for one of these. I'll take that. Alright. Well, that was definitely a little, quite a bit of setup at the end. We're going to start off the next episode probably with this deck. Depends on what we're up against. I'll fill in this deck for next time. So appreciate you guys for stopping by. Hope you guys are having a damn good time with these playthroughs. Hope you guys are taking care of yourselves and your loved ones. Uh, I want you guys to continue to do so if you're already doing it. Um, if you're not doing it now, make sure to do it. Make sure to do it. Make sure to take care of yourself and those who are closest to you. So, again, appreciate you guys. Thanks for your patience. Um, and, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this playthrough and uh, other episodes of the playthrough. Let me know what you guys want to uh, see from this channel going forward. Because I'm actually going to... I'm, I'm going to be uploading slow, for sure. Um, but I'm kind of thinking of the games going forward that I'm going to start uploading. Um, what you guys can expect from me is probably a standard definition of Shin Megami Tensei 3 playthrough before the... Uh, for the re-release the remaster 
then I'm probably gonna do another playthrough with the um, of the new version for the I believe it's for for the switch also there's gonna be like a legacy of Cain retrospective coming up and of course I'm gonna be finishing um, the Darksiders 3 uh, playthrough and uploading that pretty soon um, and that was gonna be probably the most ambitious product the most ambitious project yet for the channel so hope you guys are looking forward to that but thanks again guys Appreciate your patience. Till next time, everybody. Peace.